The Thing About Jellyfish by Allie Benjamin. Expert number one. The night we got home from seeing Dr. Legs, I began my research. I found a bunch of jellyfish experts, actually. I found a guy in Rhode Island who studies how jellyfish move through the water. A grandmotherly lady who studies jellyfish population near Seattle. A guy in Washington, D.C. who studies how they evolved. I clicked on researcher after researcher, ruling out one after the other. One just because he didn't list any email or any contact information. Another because she wrote articles filled with words I didn't understand. Words like pharmacocy and methanolic and eosin. The grandmotherly researcher looked like a older version of my mother, and I didn't want to imagine my mother growing old. Then I found someone I thought might be interesting. I pulled out my notebook and began to write. Possible expert number one. Glasses and brown hair. War uh, works at at a lab where scientists send remote control vehicles into the deep ocean. He discovered a never before seen jellyfish in the darkest part of the ocean. It had a red part inside the bell that could cr that could crumple or expand just like a folding paper lantern. Named it the paper lantern jellyfish. I lo like how literal that is. Writes cuckoo poetry about things we he sees. Here is one. Soap bubbles. Westward to Nirvana each, carrying nothing. Well, that is not nearly literal enough. Advantages. Face looks nice. Soft eyes, not mean. Discovers new things, which means he knows there's more in the world than what has already been discovered. Disadvantages. Very far away. Does not seem to write about Arakanji or any sort of venom. Might ask me to read his poetry. Conclusion. Conclusion. Rejected for reasons related to poetry.